How's everybody doing today? This is Scott Casey, and I am going to demonstrate how to use my door knocker script to make it easier to move your players uh, through maps and even sometimes have them move themselves through maps. Um, so first of all, uh, this is my demo game, and we're going to go through how to install the script first. Uh, so it's actually available from the Roll21 click, so as long as you have a pro subscription, uh, and actually as long as the creator of your game has a pro subscription, any GM of that game can go and click the Settings button on the splash page of that game, go to API Scripts, and then just search for Door Knocker in the dropdown. And then we're going to add the script. And it will also add some dependencies that it uses to do some of the calculations uh, that it takes care of. However, then we can go back to our game splash page and launch our game. So, uh, Here's our game. I've got a map from David Hemingway. Um, it is his uh, tavern map. I'll have a link to it in the description. Um, but uh, I really love his stuff. Um, and I've got this map currently set up with dynamic lighting. And we've got a drunk farmer down here that would like to get inside to the tavern to get a drink. Um, and Right now, he's not real sure how to get in there. There's windows, there's walls, um, but we'll, we'll eventually get to helping him get into the tavern. Um, but first, let's go look and see what door knocker set up in here uh, when it was installed. Uh, so the script makes a character called the door knocker UI. Uh, and if we click on here, it has a uh, help document in it, as well as a settings page. Um, so you can set up various uh, options of the script. Um, the first set here is the interface options. Uh, these are things like uh, if you want to have searching for a door actually enabled or not, uh, and if you're searching for a door, what you want uh, those different auras to be for the closest door and the farthest door. Um, and then down at the bottom here, we have the four types of dynamic lighting line that Door Knocker uh, knows about. So there are walls, which Door Knocker will pretty much never interact with. Uh, this is here mostly just so that you can easily uh, make your, all of your maps similar colors. Uh, we have hidden doors, which are doors that uh, players can't detect or open. Uh, only the GM can control them with the script, um, or obviously by going to the dynamic lighting layer and manually moving them around. Uh, and then we have locked doors, uh, which by default are this orange color. Uh, and players can detect these if they're using the search functionality, but they can't open them. And then we have unlocked doors, which players can detect and can open on their own. Um, so all of these colors are customizable. Uh, if you click on one of these, uh, a pop-up will uh, come up asking you to enter the uh, hex color code of the color that you would like to uh, use. Uh, there are various sites where you can go to look up hex color codes. Uh, Google even has an integrated picker right in its search engine. Um, so uh, getting a hold of that is uh, pretty easy for for you to do. Um, however, I'm not going to change these at the moment. Um, and we'll go back to instructions. I should also note that this UI character, uh, these buttons in it, will only work if the uh, character is not popped out into its own window. Uh, so that's important. Uh, so the other thing that the uh, script set up on this character is it has set up several uh, token actions for this character. Um, so if we drag our door knocker UI out, 
uh, we'll get this nice uh, key. Uh, thanks to uh, Keith Curtis for finding this key. And uh, we have a bunch of different uh, options here that we can do with this uh, key token, uh, which are also listed here. If you're curious what the macros here are, you can hit the edit and see what they are. Uh, this is useful for taking these and making them as, say, a global macro so that you can then uh, trigger the script from any token instead of having to drag out the key token itself. Um, so uh, that's setting up the script. Uh, the goal, the design goal behind the script was that it should be all, as plug and play as possible. Um, so uh, let's take a look at how now to set up your map to work with the script. Uh, this map I actually already have set up to work with the script, but if we go to the dynamic lighting layer, uh, we can see where the lines are. And you can see that I actually have, actually, maybe I don't have this script set up. Uh, I do not. Those are locked. Those should be unlocked. Okay. Well, good. I'll get to show you how to adapt map. Uh, so my wall colors are already set. Again, that doesn't really affect the script at all. Um, however, uh, we'll take a look at setting up some of these other uh, scripts or some of these other walls and doors. Um, so right now I have the entrances to this tavern all as locked doors. Um, however, I would like to change that. Uh, so we're going to come down here and select this and then we're going to go and copy the um, command that we need. So we're going to adapt uh, this section here where it says setting up your maps. We're going to adapt this, uh, these dynamic lighting lines to the script settings. Uh, you could also just change the script settings and it would also work. Um, so we are going to just type in with that door up here uh, selected, we're going to type in knock, which is the keyword that tells the script, hey, this command is for you. And then we're going to enter a command sequence, which is we're going to tell it where you want to adapt something, uh, the selected uh, line that we have. And we want to make it a unlocked door. And we would like to do this across the campaign. Um, or we can do it just for the page that we're on right now. Um, and it will adapt any line that is that color to be our unlocked door color. So I'm going to hit enter here and suddenly all of my orange doors are now green. Um, however, this one up here, I actually want to be that nice orange color. Uh, and then we need to adapt these red ones to be locked. So we're going to do this and and I appear to have entered a right. Uh, locked doors are just considered doors for this command. So adapt door and we have screwed up. And this is where you go check your script library, script page, and make sure your API is still running. Yep. Okay, we're going to restart the sandbox. There we go. Now we have locked doors. Uh, so now we have a door. Uh, if we come down here, uh, I can come up here with my door knocker token and it will automatically say, hey, look, there's a door in range. Um, I can get really close and it changes the uh, diameter of those. Um, so these auras uh, will also show up around a um, token if you turn on searching. Um, so I should note that the way these auras are made are slightly different between the door knocker token and say this drunken farmer token. Um, uh, 
which the uh, aura for the other tokens is made as a uh, token that will follow those tokens around uh, so that you can still use the auras on that token for paladin auras or whatever you might need them for. Um, so uh, we're also going to now toggle our search back off. Um, so from the door knocker token, you can just come up here and say, I would like to uh, toggle doors and it'll toggle doors back and forth. Uh, you can do this so that it'll only toggle unlocked doors. If you remember, this door here was locked. Uh, but if I move over here, it will now toggle that open and closed. Now, of course, it can be kind of annoying to have to drag out the door knocker token every time you want to open up a door. So the what I actually like to do is to take uh, usually my toggled doors uh, macro and make it a global macro. Uh, so we're going to make this toggle doors and we're going to put that in there. I'm going to make it a token action so that any time that I select a token, this will show up as an option. Um, I'm not going to make this macro available to players and we're going to save that. So now I can go here and it says toggle doors, which means that anytime a player moves up to a door and I say, and they say I want to open it, I can just click on their token and say, great, you have now opened the door. Um, or you can even uh, make the, uh, not that. Uh, so you can also, of course, make a uh, push doors, and this will be um, to, yep, uh, so we're going to have it push toggle, we're going to make it a token action, and we're going to make it available to all players. So now your players, when they come up to a unlocked door, such as this one right here, and so they come up and say, oh, you know, I'd like to see if there's a door around me. And say, oh, hey, there's a door here. I'd like to look for that door. Or open that door, rather. Well, they can just say, push the door, and now our drunken farmer is able to get in and get himself some beer. Um, so uh, that's how the script works. Uh, there are more commands than just toggle, uh, but you can read through the documentation if you have want to use them. Uh, they're mostly just more specific about opening or closing only. Um, and if you have any questions, stop by the scripts forum thread on the Roll20 forums uh, or leave a message here on the YouTube video. Anyways, have a good day, and I'll hopefully be back with more tutorials on some of my scripts in the near future.